Hello, my Jacob Boom Booms. Today, we're gonna play around with the items from the Ice Cream Beauty bag for the month of August. If you guys recall, it was all mainly like eye product and then a lip oil. We are not gonna go ahead and play around with the lip oil. I've already explained why. However, we'll focus on the eyes with these products and the rest of the face is already on. I'll show you exactly what I use on the face just in case you're interested. As a base, I used Farsali's Liquid Glass. This gives you like that luminous effect on the skin without having to use a highlighter and it's a really nice serum. My foundation is the Laura Geller. It's called the Baked Balance and Bright and Color Correcting Foundation in Sand. My concealer is by Il Maquillage and this one is in the shade number nine. My bronzer is Ofra's Miami Palette. This is like their Miami 2.0 launch that launched Oh my God, like earlier this month, I mixed the two bronzer shades together to get this kind of sun kissed effect on the skin. I look like I really sat down and tanned. My blush happens to be this palette over here, which I'm really, really excited over because look how stunning. You're getting 12 pressed blushes, different shades. They're absolutely stunning. One, two, there's like two of them that have little flecks of shimmer to it, but it's not gonna be super luminous either. This is by Ofra. It's called the Professional Blush Palette. By the way, Ofra has a 30% off sale right now on everything on the website. It's their back to school sale. So you can get 30% off everything on their site. And then if you use my discount code on top of that, you get an additional 20% off. So you're gonna get 50% off everything on Ofra. So you don't wanna sleep on it. This is like a great time to snag the items that you had your eyes on. So if you want like a blush palette like this, it is stunning. And remember, you can use this as eyeshadows. You can use these, some of them as bronzers, depending on your complexion. This is just amazing. And I love her to pieces. By the way, I mixed these two shades to get the shade that I have going on here. But yeah, again, this is the blush palette, the professional blush palette. You can also snag the Miami palette at 50% off with my code. Without my code, it'll only be 30%. And then, um, for the under eye, I set it with my Ofra brightening powder in banana and then I sculpted my brows after filling them in with the perfect cover concealer. Mine is in medium golden and my brows, I filled them in with Pow Made Brow Pomade by Benefit. This is a number five warm black brown and I think that's it. I think we're good. I think I've covered everything that's on my face right now. You already know that discount code and link to Ofra will be in the description box for you guys if you're interested in getting 50% off everything off their site. If you're new, guys, just check the description box. I always hook you guys up with discounts. But we're gonna start off with the eyeballs. I'm gonna use Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in Fair. We're gonna pop my little sponge into it and then I'm gonna prime the lids. You guys, I don't even know what I'm gonna do on the eyeball because this palette is very, 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 very colorful. And so for me, it's like, I really want to show you the lashes and how like flared and pretty it could be. So I kind of wanted to do some, I kind of wanted to, what was that? I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to do something kind of light on the eyes given that I've done green already, like, and it's been very heavy. I've done a lot of pops of color, but I'm not sure what I want to do quite yet. <laughs> I want to do glitter. Mm -hmm. We're going to do glitter. I kind of want to go yellow today. Kind of. Let's start off with the shade that's going to make a little bit of sense right now. So let me go with this one over here. And the reason why is because we are not going beige on the crease since we don't have any beiges. And I'm thinking I want to go yellow like I said. So I might just add the orange and pull this look together that way. We always winky here. So if you're new here, me, <laughs> buckle up. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll figure this out together. And if you haven't checked out the unboxings, girl, all my unboxings for the month, unless somebody sends something that I wasn't expecting, all my unboxings for the month are already live. So the all the Ipsy boxes, like the Icon Boxy Charm by Ipsy and the Ipsy Glam Bag are live. My Ice Cream Beauty bag and box are live. My Slay Glam is live. Literally everything is live and the try-ons and stuff, you should totally go check them out. Right now I'm working on try-ons. Well, I'm working on catching up. Most of them are already up though. So I give you ideas on how to play around with the product that you receive in your subscription 
boxes. I show you tips and tricks and give you my feedback as to whether or not the products work. Oh, that's a, oh, orange. I don't know why I don't do orange more often because it's actually really pretty. All right, I really think I wanna go yellow, but I'm between this yellow and this yellow. They kind of look the same. This one's slightly deeper. Let's go with this one. There's definitely a lot of kick up with this eyeshadow palette. But the orange was very pigmented, so I really can't complain too much. I wish the yellow was a little more on the poppy side. I mean, it shows it's pretty. I just wish it was more. All right, so I'm tapping this directly on to the primer since this Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas stays a little on the tacky side. It'll grip onto the eyeshadow like a magnet, which is exactly what I need. Ooh. Okay, this is really 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 pretty so far and then I think I want to go like a burnt orange or red All right out of this palette. I think I want to go with this reddish shade here I'm gonna focus that out here. Hope that it gives me the pigmentation. I'm expecting. I'm gonna dip back in It's lacking a little bit go back in push 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 All right, so when it comes to this red the orange was great. The yellow was nice and the red, I've had to dip into the pan a few times to get it to build. I need some intensity. And then I'm gonna go in circular motions with the same brush. This is a BK Beauty 211. It is a stunning brush. BK Beauty has amazing brushes and lipsticks. Do not sleep on them. Totally go check them out. Yes, they're slightly expensive, but I'm gonna tell you this. Forget about the price point. Think about how long they're gonna last you. They're amazing. They wash well. They don't shed. They have never fall. And I've had brushes. Like there's brushes that I've had for quite some time and I wash often. Remember, I do sometimes two to three makeup looks in a day. So that tells you how often I have to wash my brushes. And these brushes just are so well made and they have remained soft regardless of how many times I've used them and had to wash them. So I highly recommend them. You're definitely getting your money's worth with these brushes. Oh, that's pretty. I'm so happy. And then I'm gonna go in with the brush that I used on the orange, and I'm gonna kind of diffuse this inner like crease area here and feather this outer area because I want it to be like seamless. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And you don't have to be too strategic. Just have fun and get it done. Oh, that rhymes a little bit. Okay, so just, right? Don't don't overthink it because when you do, that's where like you get two in your head and they're like, but maybe I did it wrong. Maybe I went out too far. Maybe I did this. Maybe No, however you're doing it, you're doing great. Just believe in yourself. I know a lot of times we overthink things and that's where we tend to make mistakes. So we're gonna do one of these. Sarra, caca. Okay, now. I feel like I'm not done with this palette because I really want to go in probably with the, I'm thinking orange. I think orange on the under eye area would look really, really pretty, but I want to apply the ledges so that I can really see what this is looking like. So, mm, mm, no, wait, how do you, yeah, that one. These have to get sized and trimmed because my eyes, although some people say they're big, they're not. So I usually have to snip a good maybe one third of it off. All right, we're gonna start off by applying the, uh, what is, this is the Lash Step, but this is their Liquid Lash Adhesive Pen in Black. The tip is extremely stiff. All right, you guys wish me luck. Those are long, girl. All right, I'm gonna make sure I press my falsies with my realsies. And then, y'all already know how I like to press. Whenever I use a liquid lash adhesive pen, press the lid against the band, and that'll help me hide the band a little bit. Helps the eye look a little more on the natural side. Wow, these are really, really long. Like, long, long. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some mascara to this, just so that I can mix my falsies with my realsies. <laughs> um, all right, so the lashes are on on both sides. I went in with like a gold liner on the bottom lash line, not in the waterline. I think I wanna leave the waterline alone and I'm thinking, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm like, I'm gonna do this. No, the palette is here. I'm thinking, oh Jesus. 
Oh. I will add the orange, but I think I want to go with a deeper orange instead of the one that I applied on the crease. So I'm going to go with this burnt orange. Already. It's like a red orange. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to tap out. And so I applied the yellow liner because I wanted it to be a base for this eyeshadow. Otherwise, you really wouldn't be able to see that under the eye on me because I have like that tan olive golden complexion and so shades like oranges and golds are gonna be very hard to see under the eye so I would have to apply a base and it's a good thing I just got a gold liner in a beauty box that I'm supposed to try anyway so I figured I'd play around with that while I'm at it and see how it performs I'm glad I went yellow and uh, oh 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 some of the eyeshadow went in my eyeball and that was not sexy oh that was uncomfortable anyway let's move on I'm gonna apply some mascara on the lower lashes I feel like I want to read visit this baby it's the mellow way your way mascara i really really love the applicator on this because it's so bendy all right so i personally think this is pretty but i feel like we need to add something else on the eye and you know if i have a shimmer i'm going to use it so i'm gonna go into the shimmer that's under the yellows i'm gonna tap that directly on top of the yellow i think this eye look calls for a red lipstick all right miha i am back I applied a red lippy. I'll show you which one it was because you guys know I've been talking about these lately a lot because they're really, really good. The Urban Decay Lip Bond. These are the ones that you shake and then it'll last a really long time. I've been gravitating towards this one if I want a red because I know it's not going to slip and slide. It doesn't get on your teeth. It's amazing. If you want a really good red, Unbreakable is this one. At first, it looks like a red lipstick with lip gloss and then all of a sudden the gloss gets toned down. It'll look like this. I haven't eaten anything or drank anything. So now it's fully, fully set and then eventually you don't have much of a glossy effect. It just looks amazing amazing on the lips. And then of course I changed up the hair. You have no idea what big of a deal hair is when it comes to makeup. It can either tone it down or emphasize it in a really, really beautiful way. And technically it's all part of your head. So it all pretty much works together. And what I had going on was just not it. I was gonna add like an extension back here and just make it chic and long. But then I was like, where the hell are you going? Nowhere, so it doesn't matter, it is what it is. But I, like, you know, it's nice and sleek and pulled it back and it just looks clean at this point. Like my neck, all of that just look sleek and clean and kind of put together. Now, let's actually talk about the product and what I think about them now that I've tried them. The lash adhesive pen is actually really good. So if you've never tried one, this is a nice one to start with. Once you've determined whether you like it or not, then there are other ones that are like amazing out on the market. But to start, it helped. It's nice and dark. Although the tip is stiff, it is opaque, it applied, it glided nicely, and it doesn't finish setting with a crazy shiny finish. So this is gonna be a yes, because it's actually really nice. The lashes. <sighs> I don't think they're going to be for everyone. I think that if you want to have fun and do something like, oh, you know, then great. These would be great maybe for Halloween and or if you're trying to do like an ethereal something or like baby blue, shimmers, uh, frosty this, I was going to say frosty the snowman, but like a very frozen type of look. But for every day, these are just long. So I said all that to say these are really long. I mean, I'm comfortable with them because I'm so used to lashes, but I don't think these are going to be for everyone. I think a lot of people are not gonna find these everyday lashes but they're fun I thought they don't feature lashes like that so I'm really excited that they actually feature lashes and yes I know this palette I know that Jade comes in different colors got that but here's the thing does this here not pinpoint or give you the idea that this is going to be an all green palette? That's just it. It's a nice palette. The colors worked. Uh, they blended. They had a lot of kick up, but there wasn't a lot of fallout. So it's kind of like that balancing act. At the end of the day, they were easy to work with. I didn't have to struggle. And at the end of the day, it is a very nice palette. Huge palette to get in such an affordable bag. You already know the drill. I really want to hear your feedback. So make sure you hop on the comments and let me know what you're thinking in terms of this look. Would you wear these lashes like on a daily basis or only on special occasions? Before I exit this video, girl, I did not forget 
to announce the giveaway winner. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, you guys, the randomizer chose a winner and I'm really excited. So the winner is Tiffany Holmes. She is from Heartcell, Alabama. Tiffany, you've been following me for well over two years. That is insane. Oh my God, thank you so much for all your love, your support, your comments, just being subscribed, watching, the encouragement. You're so sweet, thank you. Tiffany, be on the lookout for an email from me requesting your information. That way I can get your prize shipped out to you. And you guys, if you weren't a winner, that's okay. I host giveaways all the time because I always wanna give back to you guys. I wouldn't be able to do what I do, what I love, play around with makeup, try new product, share my experiences with you guys and get all these opportunities if it wasn't for you. So. I like to give back whenever I can, so make sure that you stay tuned for the next giveaway. And if you're new here, I wanna invite you to join a little family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button below. If it is red, you're not subscribed, it needs to be gray. I upload six days out of the week, so I wanna make sure you have fun, ongoing content at all given times. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out, and if you do, I will see you guys over there. Bye, guys.